When I met Chef Zach Engel a couple of years ago at the James Beard Awards, it was about two in the morning at Big Star. We were standing in line, and he had just won the award for Rising Star Chef. Goes to a chef 30 or under, likely to make an impact in the industry. And I had a good idea he was going to make an impact because of his experience. He worked for Meyer Adoni in Tel Aviv, Michael Solomonov uh, at uh, Zahav in Philadelphia, and Alon Shaya in New Orleans. Uh, combined with his business partner's Palestinian heritage, they've got Galit here in Lincoln Park, where they're really honoring the traditions from the Levant, but using a lot of Midwestern ingredients. For Zachary Engel, his life's work experience has led him to Galit in Lincoln Park, where he relies not only on Midwestern ingredients, but also inspiration from the countries of the Levant. You know, Iraq, Iran, Persia, Lebanon, Syria, Palestine. And so what we're doing at Galit is we're kind of taking everything from my perspective of having worked in Israel and traveled there a lot, and my business partner Andres' Palestinian heritage, and kind of melding them together. It also has a lot to do with the Jewish diaspora, emigrating from Eastern Europe, uh, North Africa, back to Israel. That might be interpreted as pastrami, but really more of a nod to basturma, a cured beef seasoned with cumin and fenugreek served with a baked Yemenite flatbread called malawach, along with bitter radicchio. Even something as simple as hummus rises to next level status. A lot of it is sourcing our ingredients. We're getting Rancho Gordo chickpeas from Napa, California. They're farmed fresh and dried. It's also our tahini, and then just kind of our overall cooking process. And then we are putting different toppings on there. Masa baja, which is like with an herby infused tahini, and some Aleppo that we're getting from Egypt, and a little bit of olive oil that we're getting from Spain. And some of the best pita you'll ever have, fermented for two days, then baked in the wood-fired oven until puffy and blistered. It's a perfect accompaniment to many dishes on the menu. Also good with pita, the salatim, small bites bursting with flavor. Labne, a thick strained yogurt with sumac and sesame. Esme, a chunky blend of Turkish tomatoes and peppers mashed with walnuts, chives, and hot garlic. Recently added, asparagus, seasoned first with za'atar, then oven roasted, topped with amba. I had uh, made uh, amba, which is this Iraqi fermented green mango chutney with persimmons many years ago. And we just decided to try it with rhubarb from the same farm that we're getting the rhubarb from, we're getting the asparagus from, or wood roasted asparagus with lemon verbena, and then this rhubarb amba, and everything's coming from McClude Farms. Walleye is seared over hot charcoals, served next to sauteed mustard greens and fingerling potatoes that have been dusted with ramp powder. Pickled ramps are set carefully onto labna, which is infused with a bit of dashi for an extra punch of umami. And Engel's mushroom kreplach may nod to their Delhi ancestors, but look and taste nothing like them. It can have a lot of different fillings. It's sort of a replacement for matzo ball soup in a lot of those places. But we wanted to do something that was basically a vegan dish in season. And so we decided on kreplach. We filled it with Swiss chard from our farmers, uh, some shiitake mushrooms, and then it's got fava beans and fava flowers. Now Galit has just reopened recently for dine-in. They've also got the patio. And it's going to be a four course experience. You get to choose your adventure. Thanks for watching everybody. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.